yeah i mean you can't build uh the type of product we wanted to build just based on our assumptions tulip i always say this is like tulip was born on the shop floor yeah. so it wasn't wasn't born in some office you know so I, re i really also think this is a failure pattern of software companies in manufacturing it's, i think there were like a huge flood of predictive maintenance startups or iot platforms which were like yeah. in the 2017 18 time frame that manufacturing is still paper-based agree uh, everything is expensive and slow agree so let's start throwing money on it but then you yeah. didn't figure it out yet and like went in the wrong direction and cannot steer anymore so yeah because operations is not just uh, the end of the r d process whatever product you're making it's mm -hmm. it's an integral part of it you know production lines are products that you can you can build them and they can be an amazing uh, power multiplier or they can be just like you know the weak link and the end of a chain of a huge r d investment and so it doesn't make any sense not to take this approach that is uh, very aggressive on the technology and you see the the companies who changed stuff in the past decade or so and in here in the us of course everybody talks about spacex and tesla uh, but there are many many others you know with the new ev companies or one of our great customers uh, skydio and there's like other companies like that in, in uh, around the globe but they've vertically integrated a lot of their operation and and especially when they're doing organic manufacturing as opposed to contract manufacturing they're not they're not just asset lean and like they're kind of outsourcing their operational end of their factory they're Ownership. we're gonna take care of the whole process and this is what would make our product uh, better we can then you know better support we can distribute it differently and and they're changing the game